Hola, bienvenidos a Puerto Vallarta. Yo estoy aquí con mi mamá y mi papá. Today is a special day for a challenge. Pepe's tacos versus Pancho's tacos. Who will win? Whose food is better? Whose customer service is better? Let's find out. We're going to be judging Pepe's and Pancho's off of three main factors. Their food, obvious reasons. How does the food taste? How good was it? What kind of sauces do they provide? What other side dishes do they have? Second factor is service. How good are the waiters and waitresses? Are they accommodating? Do they have what we need? Are they over the top? Or are they just serving food? And lastly, location. Where is it located specifically in Puerto Vallarta? How accessible is it? How easy is it to walk there? We'll all find out today and at the end of this video, we'll decide if Pancho's or Pepe's is better. We're gonna be judging these two taco places on three factors, food, service, and location. Who will win? I know it's gonna be biased because I've already had both of these places and they're both so delicious. So that's why my parents are here. So let's go meet up with them and find out who's gonna win. Don't ever, ever touch that. Oh, I wish I had my very good Are you okay? <laughs> so far so good. Except I told them, don't ever, ever touch this sauce. One of this sauce. Is that why you're crying? Yeah. <laughs> I taste all of this sauce. It's all good. But that one, if, you, if you're very, your tongue is strong. Oh, yeah. You can take it. I can't take it. Todo es este with cilantro. Oh, yeah. With cilantro. Oh, that's ma mommy. Yeah, that's ma Mike's and mom. All right. First up is my mom. She got her tacos. First bite. What I love? You ready for your first bite? Yeah. Are you gonna be me? Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Hold on, Mike. Wait, did you get the pineapple? No. A piece of pineapple, too. My mom uses a fork and knife with everything. <laughs> Honest opinion. It's good. I love it. And this one, too. The flavor, yeah. Yeah. All right, now my dad trying the taco. Trying it the un natural way, I can see. You also have to let him know that you're. That's why the line is two miles because of this. <laughs> my good. I think it's the best taco. I don't know about Pepe. We'll try, and then I'll tell you. I think it's this one, even though I didn't try Pepe yet. Because Pepe, the line of Pepe is like this long too. Can be. We'll see. So, uh, we'll wait for the next episode. Thank you. It's all gonna be on this episode. Don't worry. My mom. My mom wanted to record because she wanted me to tell the camera, she, or she wants to tell the camera that she really likes this. The, the I really like it. It's good. What are they? Onions. How would you describe the flavor? I don't know, but it's good. That's all I can say. <laughs> I don't know what it Great tastes comment. like, but yeah. it's good. But you're going to taste the onion. <laughs> they don't taste like onion. They don't taste like onion, though. They taste like yeah, there you have it. It's good. G O O D. Not onion tasting, onion 
flavored mushroom tasting <laughs> onions. <laughs> if I'm gonna rate the food from one to ten, it's ten. Service eight because they're so busy and everything. And then location. Gracias. Gracias. And then location. Six. Six. <laughs> that's okay, that's your opinion, that's okay. But overall, 10. Mom, so you're, you're rating food, service, and location. Each one to 10. It's fun. One to 10, 10. For the location, the food, and service is I understand because it's so busy, you know? You, don't, you just don't want the people to look at you while you're still eating and people are not in line for nothing, you know what I mean? They're there waiting patiently because of this food. I like their, uh, I love their guacamole, it's so fresh. The onion, I love the onion. You should try that and of course the tacos. If you're here, you will miss out if you're not gonna come here and try it. You know what I mean? I'm cutting chips for mom. You're so sweet. Uh, yeah. She <laughs> yeah, it's so sweet, but he wanted me to try that spicy thing a while ago. No, because cause for me it's not spicy. And then, uh, no, and then, <laughs> I just you said that because, that there you have it, um, we're going to try Pepe's in about a day or two, and we will start the whole judging process over, but overall, I think, <laughs> how do you beat a 10, right? Yeah. Stay tuned. Welcome to Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> oh, I know this is scary. <laughs> That's scary. It's an adventure. Yeah. I don't think they do that. Oh, this is for <laughs> Today is the second part of the test to see if Poncho's is better or if, where are we going today? Pepe! Pepe's! We'll be the judge. We'll be the judge. Either Pepe. Or Pancho. Or Pancho. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. <laughs> Vamonos! Sí, y um, este, Hawaii, Hawaii, Ana. Sí. We finally made it back over here to Pepe Taco with my parents. We just finished ordering their food. Obviously, to compare, we're doing out store tacos for each of them. So remember, we're judging it off of food, the service, and location. So 
We're going to talk about that with my parents in a little bit. What, what is your first impression of Pepe's? Pepe's is bigger than Pancho's and a little farther than the thing, the, where we are. Here. Maybe not for people who... Know. Yeah, yeah. But the place is bigger. I like it better. Oh. It looks cleaner. Okay, yeah, so but she... we'll see about the taste of the tacos. So, so far she likes the location better and she likes how it's bigger and, and it looks cleaner. Not crowded. All right, my dad's first opinion. Same thing, location is better, but it's a little bit farther, cleaner. I don't know about the taste yet. Maybe later on, we will know. But I notice when they serve it there, it's more, a lot more at Pancho's than here. Here it's like, the, we'll compare it with the taste. Even though it's not a lot, then maybe it's much better. We will let you know, either this one or Pancho's. This is mom's favorite. All right, so first up is the grilled baby onions that we got at Pancho's that mom loved so much. So. We'll see what she thinks about this one. And look, they put soy sauce. That one, that one has soy sauce. Yeah, the other one's soy sauce. Mm. You like that better? I think that the onion there is better than this one. Yeah. I agree. It's, it's good too, but that one tastes better. How many people will actually order this? But it's a nice thing to have but if you're here. Though. Yeah, she still thinks it's good. It's good. I like it. Finish him. He likes it better at Poncho's. So Poncho's, grilled baby onions, Poncho's for the win. Dude, look at my margarita. It's insane. It's like coming off the top. Okay. Whoa. That's really good. Wow, that's really good. Gotcha. Uh, oh, I, uh, I keep. Well, there you have it. We have finished eating at Pepe's and Poncho's Tacos, and it's now time to reveal who the winner of this challenge is, according to my parents. So we're gonna start with my mom. My mom is live. Hello, say hello. Hello. All right, so um, what is your verdict, Pepe's or Poncho's? Well, it depends on, on the food. Pepe's? If you're talking about that, what do you call that, Lala? She is talking about the Alpha Store tacos. Okay, if you're talking about that, I like it better here. It's tastier. I don't know, it's just better. It tastes better than Pancho. But if you're talking about the onions and guacamole, you're better off getting it from Pancho. To me per personally, I like it. This two in Pancho. Okay, the big the big question here though is if you came back to Puerto Vallarta and you had one place that you could only go, Pancho's or Pepe's, which would it be? Pancho's. That is a twist. <laughs> no twist. Why? Or or, 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 or I can or sacrifice the taste of the Tacos because of this and that. Uh, in replacement of that no, but guacamole and onion. It sounds like she is saying that overall the experience is a lot better at Poncho's. Yeah. Um, although the flavor of the tacos could be better here at Pepe's. 
It's very interesting. Very interesting to see. So now we're gonna move over to my dad and see what he thinks of Pepe's or Poncho's and pen over to my dad. And there's a solution for that me. You buy your guacamole and chips over over at Pancho's and the, the onion and bring it to go and go here and eat tacos. <laughs> oh for me? I really like cone. Overall, this is only the location and the place. But if you're eating, don't mind about location. Just eat at the best tacos at Pancho's. Oh. Summary. Very clear-cut answer from my dad. He is 100% a Poncho's Tacos fan, but my mom, she has very conflicting views, I will have to say. One thing to note between the difference between Poncho's and Pepe's is that Pepe's is open really late. They open starting at 1 p.m. and they don't close until about 4 a.m. Um, so the hours of Pepe's beats Poncho's for sure. Poncho's closes um, I think midnight, some, somewhere around there. Definitely not 4 a.m. And they open... And they open later in the late afternoon. 5 p.m. But your panchos, you, you have to wait for like 30 to 40 minutes. That's how busy they are. That means pancho is good. <laughs> That's why they fall in line. So Pape's... Pape's? <laughs> <laughs> so Poncho's versus Pepe's, who won? I don't know, I think you guys need to come here and you guys decide for yourselves because it sounds like my mom, at least my mom, is very conflicted in her views. They're both very good taco places. You can't go wrong. Yes, you can't go wrong with either one. That sums it up. So now we are going to ask for the check. La Cuenta, por favor, and we are going to sign out.